family so this is a part two um i apologize there 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 i have to ask my son when he comes on saturday on how to pause the video if i need to pause it um i don't see how here <laughs> on my screen so um uh, I, I didn't want to start over because this is such an important message. Uh, I mean, I guess I can start over. Um, so it can all be on one video. Okay, so I'm going to start over. So I don't post two videos. Um, yes, okay, thank you, Spirit. All right, so we got um, the flexibility card was the first card out. And, um, and then we have stability. And... Um, and what I talked about in the beginning of the other video that I did was one of the things, this is the 1111 portal read. And one of the things that's really important right now for you to focus on is that this portal is a portal for new beginnings. Okay. So it's a big sign that opportunities are on its way. It's important for you to be flexible right now. There's an opportunity that's heading your way. This is a huge manifestation portal. So whenever you see 1111 or 111 or 222 means that opportunities are coming. So stay in the present moment so you don't miss the opportunity. So interestingly enough, um, I said I said all of this in the in the first video that I did. And um, and somebody knocked on my door, so I had to stop the video. And um, and this stability card talks about staying in the present moment. Okay, which I will read just the, the messages from the book real quick. Um, we have stay in the present moment here. Uh, this is a time of, of awakening for the whole of humanity in its consciousness. When our um, consciousness rises, that means our level of awareness rises, our senses rises as well. So pay close attention to, um, you know, all of our intuitive powers at this time. It's highly likely you will receive new messages, ideas, and things like that. So now is the time to follow your heart in your gut feeling more than ever that pull that that god calling or that gut feeling or that intuition if you say i don't know why i'm doing this but i feel like i'm but i feel like doing it uh, that is a, a very important message that you're meant to be doing that and this is a time to follow that feeling less doubt less fear less negativity it's time to realize your truth and your dreams as well you are supported at this time right now is the time to go for your goals to take action on your dreams now is the time okay um because the universe is supporting you the collective is supporting you you're being very supported right now the universe will respond to your actions it will meet you and match you and catch you okay so stay focused what you focus on expands so it's important for you to stay present in the present moment so you don't miss these opportunities here coming in you're about to get clarity on something here and focus on one thing at a time okay the 1111 portal, uh, all of your thoughts is manifesting faster. Even yesterday, uh, my daughter and I, we were talking about someone. And uh, I, I kid you not, like just a few like minutes after this person that we we're talking about calls her. So um, be very aware of your thoughts, conscious and subconscious thoughts. If there are challenge, if, if there is challenges, um, don't focus on it. Let it pass. Don't challenge the challenge. It's a great time to manifest love and abundance right now. Now is the time to dive dive into, you know, uh, the affirmations. If you want to manifest abundance or money, do the do the money affirmations, meditations, do the abundance meditations as well. Okay, the the flexibility energy here. The first card out was the two of, the two of cups. I already said my prayers also in the in the first video. I did all of that. And the second card out was the page of pen, page of pentacles, and the third card out was the tower. And I was talking about all of that in the tower when somebody came and knocked on my door. So we have uh, forty eight. The spirit of the willow says, "Be flexible in your life. Be willing to bend rather than break. Be am amenable to change, and you will flourish in wondrous way. Be open to change right now. There's." Uh, be flexible there is a major change that's taking place and know that you are protected right and you are divinely guided so the tower is our friend the tower comes in to help us as divine intervention to bring in to bring in what we need what we pray for what we ask what we want our desires right so there 
if you have been confused or been procrastinating on something, you're about to get clarity with this tower card, okay? And again, it, this is the time to follow your intuition and take a leap of faith. Look at that, 1111 family. 1111 here with the four of wands. This is the opportunity right now with your intuition is telling you to take a leap of faith on something. This is the time to do it. Okay, we have flexibility, earth spirit that also came through. That's number 14. So that breaks down to a five. So major change. Stability. Be present in the moment. Slow down. We talked about that in the intro. And let go of the busyness and pace of life. Explore your roots. So work on your root chakra. Spend time outside. Move your body. Okay. That's how we can also work on this flexibility. Do yoga. Go to the gym. Honor your past, go deep, and reflect on your life right now. Now is the time to do that. Um, also, family, I want to say, I want to thank everyone for everyone that, that's new. Welcome to the family. Everyone that's returning, welcome back. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you for purchasing decks for all of your donations and scheduling personal readings with me. It does help the message to reach those that need it and helps our community to grow. God bless you all so much and thank you. All right, so here we go. We're about to see here uh, what else, right, uh, wants to come through. So it looks to me like there's a te telepathy, strong telepathy right now, okay? So watch your thoughts. Make sure that you're sending love to your loved ones, to your soulmate, to your spiritual divine counterpart. It could be a sudden change here. That's why Spirit is asking you to be flexible. Something's getting ready to be revealed. Or somebody's going to get stop procrastinating because they got the clarity or the information you know, the awakening here, we have an energy of awakening, of growth, of expansion, of ha positive thinking, of happiness, of joy coming in. Uh, tell me here about this Two of Cups. Clarify the Two of Cups. The Five of Pentacles. So these, this, the divine couples out in the cold. So I did say, I don't know if I said it in the other video, but it really, really is important right now for you to avoid any kind of lack thoughts. Or lack consciousness. If you're starting to feel lack, transmute the energy like the alchemical powerhouse that you are <laughs> by using affirmations, doing the violet flame. Okay? These are people that are out in the cold missing each other here. I do feel like there is, uh, as we picked up in the last few readings, last couple of readings, the one this morning, the one yesterday, there is a strong energy of coming out of the cold right coming back to the vibration of abundance coming back to you know um <clears throat> feeling like it's already here it's already yours living in the end you know acting as if give me one more for the five of pentacles somebody wants to come out of the cold that's been the message give me one here for there's two people here out in the cold give me one for the five of pentacles seven of pentacles so there's something coming to fruition, okay? Look, we're growing from the five to the seven to the nine, okay? So we're feeling more stable. We're feeling more, uh, you know, grounded here. This is a period of waiting, right? Uh, Reevaluating, reassessing our investments, okay? So this is definitely something that you have already invested in. This is the reap what you sow card. And this is the time, the reap what you sow. You got to action got to put in the action right for us to get the nurturing the whatever we're focused on here is what's going to grow so if we're focused on lack we're going to get more of this but if we're focused on if we're putting our time energy and effort into you know investing our time energy and effort correctly right then uh we're we're expanding we're growing here from the five to the seven to the nine so this is great okay so i do feel like the time of waiting here there's something coming to fruition i feel like this time that you have been physically in the physical separation in the physical there's no separation right um that's 3d we're all connected especially when you go through your awakening spiritually you guys needed to come into union first okay uh spiritually right and and then it can manifest physically give me one for this page of pinnacles i also got the fairies card these were called to me to do this reading today give me one for the page of pinnacles please three lots of pinnacles family 
Lots of pentacles. We have here the three of pentacles. So somebody wants to have a, they want to take action. The king of wands. They want to take action. Somebody wants to have a conversation here with you about, they want to invest in this now. They want to work together. This could be a work, a, a work collaboration as well for you. It could be both. It could be love and work. It could be uh, somebody that you work with, that you have this spiritual connection with, okay? I'm getting glances from across the office, <laughs> across the, you know, looking at each other and feeling the pull towards each other. I'm getting that as well. For some of you guys, that's the case. But this right here is building the tower from the inside out. Somebody wants to rebuild, okay? They, they're getting ready. They're being heavily guided here to take action. Passions ignited, right? Um... So it's going to start with this invitation. I, I, I heard, let's talk about where, where do we go from here? Um, so yes, this is collaboration. Okay. Some of you, some of you guys, this could be school. You mean somebody at school? Doesn't have to be, uh, because the page does represent a scholar, right? Somebody that's learning something new. Okay. Somebody could be watching you work or watching you at a distance and learning more about you. They're studying you. Okay. And um, they're feeling inspired and motivated to take a leap of faith. Um, we saw that at the bottom of the deck. So, okay, beautiful. So, give me one more here. So now they want to collaborate. They want to come out of the cold. Now they're seeing things clearly. They're getting a lot of tower moments. Yeah, they want. They don't want this. This challenge. This rivalry. This competition. This. This. Uh, conflict uh, to to they don't want it anymore okay that's what i'm getting they don't want to have uh not not meet you right um not meet eye to eye with you we have the queen of swords here so they do want to have a conversation with you they know uh whoever this is could be you or somebody in your energy they know that you have strong boundaries up they're coming in as a page so i'm here spirit say be flexible Stay grounded, speak your needs, right? Um, I do feel that you are open to hearing this person now, the Queen of Swords, but you, there is somewhat of a guard that's up, okay, when it comes to this person. But um, again, this person does see, they, they know that they're going to have to build the trust from the bottom up, it's looking like. But, it, but, you know, with this, I, I'm getting somebody here that has this, uh, I don't know, this uh, tunnel vision here on you. As you can see how this person is looking at the queen. It's pretty, I don't know, I'm trying to get you guys to see his face. It's pretty intense the way this person is looking. All right, we'll, we'll get more information on this. Spirit, tell me about the tower. Clarify the tower. Wow, King of Swords. There's going to be some kind of... There's the counterpart. There's going to be some kind of uh, sudden conversation that's coming in. Some kind of invitation, right? And um, it's very serious, non-emotional, <laughs> very logical. And with these pentacles, very practical conversation that's going to come in suddenly you least expect it okay this person may want to meet you to talk about it okay with this three of pentacles but the three of pentacles is working together it's partnerships alliances okay it's partnerships and alliances it's seeing eye to eye it's compromises building together creating together okay and um I feel like you're open here with the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're getting a lot of guidance from Spirit, the Holy Spirit here with all these doves around you when it comes to this. So it's not going to be emotional. Two people have their swords up. So it's going to be a very truthful and honest conversation that's coming in. I do feel like, you know, this somebody here needed to see a different perspective. And with the tower, I feel like they're getting that. Okay. Uh, give me here one more for this King of Swords and the Tower for the Collective. For now, we have a masculine and a feminine energy. That's the soulmate connection here that we're out in the cold waiting here with the Seven of Pentacles for 
the divine, right? For, for, for a manifestation, for the investment here that you put into this already, for it to come to fruition for you, for things to be made right, I heard. Tell me here with the king of swords and the, and the tower. This person is speaking truth, but the, the issue here is, can they back up their words? Can they back up their words, right? Can they follow through? And that's why her sword is up, is because, okay, uh, Page of Pentacles, words are nice, but can you, uh, Pentacles is a 3D material world. Can you, I, I'm waiting to see some action. King of Swords with the tower. Three of Wands. Yeah, waiting for the opportune moment. That, look, 111, family. We talked about 111 being opportunity is coming in. Your thoughts are manifesting pretty fast. Okay, and this 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 is a card of manifestation. Your manifestations are coming in. Your ships are coming in. Okay, it's uh, the time is now to take action on this. And somebody is getting ready to take action on this, okay? I do feel like this person had a tower moment in their life um, where everything came crumbling down. And now they have, now they're looking out towards the future, making future plans. Making future plans, having foresight here. And, and th there's an action plan. This person's guided, being very guided. There's an action plan in place with this person to come in and invite you and talk to you about this uh Working together, building together. Let's rebuild. Let's rebuild. This is somebody that missed out an opportunity with you in the past, or they they have been depressed. They've been depressed. They have been, you know, um, in regret here. Okay, carrying a huge burden, having a lot on their plate, a lot of responsibilities, unhappy, bored, apathy, discontent in their life, um, and they're seeing the cup clearly now. Let's get some more information on, on these people. Give me one on this King of Swords. The time is now with this tower here to take action. And again, this is, you know, with the intuition, the senses being strong, the intuition being strong. Give me one on this King of Swords. Oh, card fell in my lap. Abundance, beautiful. Uh, keep a positive mindset when we're especially when we're looking out towards the future and we're manifesting we're one 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 keep your thoughts positive king of swords one 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 your thoughts are manifesting pretty fast okay this person is being yeah twin flames uh passions ignited they're being guided by their passion okay by their heart's desire here and um Okay, give me one more. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want, okay? So, I feel like this person is, um, I feel I feel like I got nothing else more to lose here, right? With this tower, it's time for me to plant these seeds and turn my dreams into my reality here. The, this portal is uh, supporting us into doing that, into taking, finally hopping on that wave and taking that step forward, okay? Wow, this is exciting. Tell me about one more on this King of Swords. Yeah, they want to, right here, Page of Swords. They want to invite you, uh, feeling uplifted, meeting and conversing, uh, seizing the moment. What does that say? Savoring the moment, okay? So trying to be in the present moment, they want to invite, they're in love with you. Uh, but but they're not, you know, the King of, of Swords and the Queen of Swords, they're both uh, kind of head over heart, kind of emotionally detached, possibly emotionally unavailable, guarded energy. But they're, but it, that's only because of fear. That's only the ego. That's only the external. There, there's a lot of love here. There's two people madly in love with each other. Unconditional love. Self-love, one is passion again, affection and attraction. So this person is gearing up here, getting ready to, to talk, getting ready to reach out. The, when these two kings and queens show up in a reading, that means there's a conversation that's approaching, okay? Uh, this by somebody that loves you very much. Uh, give me one on the king, queen, I was about to say, give me one on the queen of swords and we have love call. We have three cards of that. 
And if you don't, if you want to include the king and queen of swords, we have three cards. We have that four or five cards of that, okay? There's a queen of swords, the king of swords are ready to have a conversation. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So the, the queen of swords is getting ready to have a conversation. I feel like there's going to be a face-to-face, a face-to-face -face, -face conversation, a meeting, okay? Yeah, relationship evolving to the next phase. Where do we go from here, right? And it's like now this person, after their their world here, their old identity or their uh, their life that they that they have built for themselves that wasn't authentic and crumbling now down. Now they want to face. They want to move towards what is authentic to them. They're in their truth, King of Swords. The King of Swords is in their truth. They want to speak their truth. They're walking their truth, <laughs> living their truth, speaking their. their they're finally in their own, in their truth, okay? And following it is what it looks like. There's been a lot of healing of the inner child here. Somebody has gone through a transformation. The butterfly, both of them have. There's Both of them are more awakened here. I love it. I like this energy. Okay, um... And with this um, page energy, there is a face-to-face -face meeting, a face-to-face -face conversation coming in. It's going to start with the phone call, and then there's going to be plans to meet. Give me one for the King of, King of Swords here. Yeah, so this person wants to reconcile your soulmate. Again, with the stay optimistic, this is the time to think positive thoughts. So your affirmations have been working. Your prayers have been heard. So this king of swords here is the person that's in love with you, that you're in love with. Um, air sign doesn't have to be. They could just be embodying this energy of being really serious about what they want. They want to reconcile. They want to talk. They want to have this conversation with you, okay? We have stay optimistic. They want to remove the mask. They have been hiding their true feelings. Give me one for the Queen of Swords. It's worth you taking the effort. It's worth you taking the steps that you're guided to take. Queen of Swords. Okay, it's worth you making the effort. Three of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Okay, great love is worth you taking the steps that you're guided to take. And we have relationship evolving to the next, the next the higher level of commi commitment. The relationship evolving to the next phase. We have relationship evolving to the next phase twice. This relationship has everything to do with your spiritual path. And you're getting ready to come out of separation because a magnetic pull is pulling you guys back together. You're getting ready to come out of separation with this person. Wow, how beautiful is this? Let me pull from the fairies and then we'll wrap up. All right, spirit. What is the last message here for the collective? We got inner child again. So they want to meet face to face because you didn't lose hope. What guidance do you have for the collective? What a beautiful reading. We have friendship. Let me get one more. You work on your friendship. I just heard. What else? And divination and healing. Friendship. Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. Get together with your friends. Um, call them in. And then we have divination. Embrace your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. Family. This is the portal time. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity. So light those candles. Say those affirmations. Say those prayers, right? Um, and then we have at the bottom here, healing. Now is the time for you to give or receive heal healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. 
So you have an opportunity here. And then I can't ignore the fact that I see here, ask for help and believe in magic. Ask for help. This is somebody that needs to go inside this building. These are people that are asking for help. As you can see, their hands are out. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies say, now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. Now is the time to ask for help. The Three of Pentacles is also a card of friendship, of working together, of building together, of creating together. Okay? So it, it could be that this person might be reaching out and it, and, and it might be... Good for both of you guys. If you guys offer each other emotional support, you let this person know that you're here for them. You know, they're going through a tower moment. Another one. They're going to keep going through these tower moments until they surrender, right, to their path, their destined path, their soul's journey. It could be time right now uh, for you to offer your help to this person if they reach out. Say, I'm here for you emotionally, spiritually, and physically if you need help with anything. Right. If you need help with your healing, I, I'm, I, you know, I'm here for you. Whether they receive it or not, it doesn't matter. Just offer it. Right. So, uh, and also, if you need help, reach out to a light worker, a healer, a spiritual coach, a counselor, therapist, uh, you know, your soul family, your soul tribe, your community for help. Okay. And also pray to your angels, calling your angels as well they work really fast as speaking of angels let me go ahead and and give you guys one last message from the archangels and then we will wrap up beautiful positive message we have hello from heaven your loved ones in heaven are doing fine let go of the worries and feel their loving blessings a lot of times when you think a lot about like all of a sudden you're just uh, thinking a lot about your deceased loved ones or, you know, specific ones, they're with you. They're very close by. So um, or when you think of them, they come. Right? <laughs> so it's, it's, it's always nice to have that kind of connection with them. Are they showing up in your dreams, giving you a message? Spirit. Oh. We have compassion. So again, these two here, heart chakra healing, higher heart. Archangel Zachiel, soften your heart in respect to this situation, all the people involved, including yourself. So the spirit is letting you know in advance when this person comes in to talk, right? Face-to-face -face conversation is about to take place that, uh, you know, to receive them, to see them with the eyes of love and compassion, ask yourself, what will love do? See only love and bring love into the situation. That's going to be really important. Look, counselor. I did say reach out to a counselor. Some of you guys um, are like experts at, you know, at, at, at the subject of grief, right? Because you've been through it and you overcame it. You healed yourself. So now you became the healer, the counselor. Archangel Azrael is the angel of grief. Speaking of deceased loved ones, right? This is the angel that helps your, your loved ones transition and helps you to heal here on earth. You are a natural counselor. And many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. So keep shining your light, your beacon. Keep shining your love your light, your healing messages, okay? And um, it'll reach those that need it for sure. All right. And you have a victory coming in. Archangel Sandalphon is the angel that delivers your prayers, okay? Uh, your prayers have been heard and are answered. Have faith. I did say that. If you guys have been praying here, it's coming to fruition. You're getting ready to come out of the cold, both of you guys are getting ready to come out of the cold. This is exciting, family. All right. Um, I love you all. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you for your donations to purchasing decks and scheduling readings with me. I will see you guys uh, for the weekend message. I love you all. God bless you and namaste. Much love, family.